We normally talk about right strategies for IELTS, but today I'm going to talk about the wrong strategies of IELTS. Three wrong strategies being used for IELTS in Bangladesh, yes. So without further ado, let me jump on to the discussion. The wrong strategy number one. We often see in Bangladesh that some IELTS experts or institutes or some people are trying to tell you that translating IELTS reading texts into Bangla word by word is a great technique to help students understand the meaning of passages and solve questions. But this is a completely wrong strategy. Yes, don't be surprised. I'm going to explain. If you have to understand lines of a passage, each line based on translation of each word in Bengali, that means you are not eligible to take IELTS for now. You have to improve your language seriously. You lack basics. But yes, the strategy is being used in Bangladesh to attract people who don't even have basics, but they want to do IELTS. But this is not the right strategy or way because in IELTS, in the main test, you have three long passages which have to be solved within 50 minutes and if we calculate the time you don't even have the time to roughly translate the whole passage into Bengali let alone translation word by word because if you want to translate word by word in Bengali it is going to take you probably a few days to complete the three passages and you don't have a few days you only have 50 minutes right so this is a bad strategy let me tell you another reason another logic with example as to why this strategy is a bullshit yes it is a bullshit why for example uh, let's say yes uh, this is a trick being used to uh, for marketing basically to attract people but let's say you are being taught this way and your the words are being translated into bengali fine like there is a line like this the scientists decided to run an experiment on this so we are translating the scientists Bigani Ra decided Shiddhantu Nilo to run an experiment at experiment korte on this etar upor. Wow, I understand. So I am a meaning, right? But the problem is that not every word can be directly translated into Bengali word by word. Some can be, but some cannot be as well. For example, the scientists decided to run the experiment on this disease, but they started feeling a, a bit under the weather themselves. So now if you want to translate the second line, but they started feeling a bit under the weather, uh, it's going to be very difficult to translate uh, into Bengali word by word. And how does it sound? They Tara started Shuru ki feeling onubhob kora ki shata a bit under the weather. Ki chuta abohawar niche onubhob kora shuru korlo. Does it make sense? It doesn't. Because that is not the meaning. It is a proverb or a kind of English phrase used to mean they were feeling sick, a bit sick, right? So it's not always going to work. But most importantly, it's not going to work in the main test. You don't have time to translate into Bengali. The trainer or the teacher will not be there to translate for you and you don't even have the time. So if you, my advice to you is if you don't understand lines of passages and you need serious translation word by word, it's not the time for you to take IELTS. The right advice is start improving your basics first. Take time, improve, do courses or practice yourself and reach the level where you can understand difficult passages easily or at least by taking some time. Wrong strategy number two, use of templates for IELTS task one and task two. I'm not saying if you're getting support of a template is a bad idea, it is fine. But using the same template for hundreds of the students taking tests at the same time or within a short time is, not, is foolish. Because if you are using a template which is being used by many hundred more candidates, so the template becomes quite common to the IELTS examiners. And they immediately know by reading the first line, middle line, last line that okay, this is the template coming. Because he or she has already seen this template many times. So what they feel? They feel intimidated they feel a bit kind of angry and they start giving 5.5 or 6 because they know that it's not their genuine writing. So 
templates especially those frequently used by hundreds of people don't give you marks more than 5.5 or 6 so jara dekhchen ekhon ebong jara eta try korechen like renowned english institute e giyechen template diyeche but kaj koreni 5.5 ba 6 e peyechen eta reason hocche eta because the examiner knew it was a template already because this template has been used many times so what to do the best thing to do is even if you are planning to use a template try to learn how many times this template has been used in real ielts or pte tar mane get a template that has not been used much to get a little support of language from the template and the rest has to be done by you apnake to likhte hobe kichu na kichu tai na but template ta jodi otirikto use kora hoy seta apnar kono kaaje ashbe na coming to the third point choice of wrong institute or wrong teacher yes that is a part of strategy because if you choose a wrong institute or a wrong teacher your first strategy goes wrong that means all the rest of the strategies or other things will go wrong so what is that you often see that many people like me are making lessons online giving lectures like that but are all of those people qualified am i qualified see my profile on the screen and then decide The problem is with people who are making IELTS lessons, but they never sat for the tests themselves. That's the problem. Yes, and then comes the question of other qualifications. So you have to choose the right institute and right trainer first. Look at the trainer profile. Try to learn about their profile, genuine profile, and how do you choose the institute? Remember, there are some criteria I would say that should stop you from choosing that institute. For example, advanced seven plus guarantee. or if the promise is that uh, you are getting 6 in 7 days or 7 in 8 days or 5 in 6 days if the promise is of giving your money back if no if the score is not achieved or before le mulla ferot ei type of dialogues gula jekhane dekhben in that case you should be careful about choosing that institute yes i'm telling you choose an institute that asks you to come for a language assessment that means a test that will de determine your language proficiency first then they will guide you through like where you should start from how long you should be doing ielts or before that whether you need to improve your language first or not or what else you should be doing other than ielts in order to improve your language i hope this video has been useful for you so if you want to learn about us as a language institute the description and the information is given with this post and i'm signing off today i'll come up with another video next time don't forget to like this page uh, if you are watching this video on our facebook page and don't forget to subscribe if you are watching this on our youtube channel which is silbd c i l l b d allah hafiz